Alrighty, so I have two sections in here in Squarespace 7.1, and I don't know if you can notice, but I have a little bit less space at the top of these blocks than at the bottom of blocks. So I have each of them inside their own section, and as you can see, because they're very thin, you can see that difference in spacing that's happening here. It's actually a lot more visible in the bottom block or around the bottom block than on this one here, but the same thing is happening. So if you ever try to create the sort of like thinner looking sections inside Squarespace, whether that's 7.0 or 7.1, you probably run into this issue as well where things don't quite look vertically online. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening here. So inspecting in the bottom block, you can see that as I stand on like the bigger wrapper that's holding all of the little containers that come form that bottom block, I can see that I have padding only on three sides of the block. I don't have it at the top. And if I take a look at this text block here, you can see that the same problem is happening. So I have padding on three sides of the block, but I don't have any at the top. So the reason why this is happening is because Squarespace has this default code that is applied to all of the sections, all of the blocks inside Squarespace, where the first element or the first block that you have inside the section gets that top padding just like chopped off entirely. Now we don't normally see this issue happening because it compensates when we add a lot of different blocks to the page. But when you have just one of them, and again, the spacing is fairly narrow, then you can definitely see that misaligning happening. So over here, you can see that here we have a padding top of zero that is crossing off this padding top 17 pixels that I have here. So if I remove that padding top zero, you can see how everything sort of shifted a little bit downwards. And now I have the padding at the top of the button again. So if I stand on it, go for it. So if I stand on it, you can see that now the padding is wrapping all four sides of the block. So that's basically what we want to achieve with CSS. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our custom CSS window. And here we're actually going to the side because we can either add the padding to the top, just like I did by um, disabling that padding top zero that we saw before or we can remove the padding at the bottom that is causing the misalignment. So the decision is really up to you. It depends on the look that you're going for. What we're going to do is basically target the blocks inside the sections by targeting the sections either through their data section ID for 7.1 or their sections ID for section IDs for 7.0. Now, because we're only going to work with one block, so we're actually going to see the issue just where we have one block inside the section, there's not really a need to specify which block it is. So it doesn't really matter if we have here a text block, a gallery block, a summary block, a button block, anything. It doesn't really matter what type of block it is. It just matters that the block is inside that section. So I'm telling you this because what we're going to do is we're going to use a common class that all blocks in Squarespace share. So all of the blocks that you can add through that pop up window that you see when you click on the plus blue sign thingy. Um, so all of the blocks that you can choose from there all share the same class. So that's what we're going to be using. That's the class that we're going to use. And you can see it here. So if I stand again over sort of like the big wrapper that's holding all of the different stuff that um, creates that button block, you can see that there is a class that's called S2S block, followed by another one that says button block, and then another one that says S2S button block. So these two are specific to the type of block that you're working with. But this first one here, this SQS block, is common for all of the different types of blocks in Squarespace. So again, because we're only working with one block inside the section, what's actually important is to identify the particular section where we want to make the tweak and not really the block itself. So we're going to use that SQS block class, and then I'm going to look for the data section ID of my section. So that is this one here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that inside square brackets. 
and I'm going to follow that with the class that is um, the, the class that's common between all of Squarespace blocks, which is SQS block. And then I'm just going to decide whether I want to add the padding at the top or remove the one at the bottom. Personally, I think I want a little bit more space, so I'm going to add here padding top 17 pixels. And then we're going to have to force this value to override the zero that we saw before. So I'm going to add important. And as you can see, that already added the um, space that was missing at the top of the bottom block. So I'm going to do the same thing for this section here. But in this case, I'm actually going to remove the bottom, um, the bottom padding. So I'm going to copy the same snippet. And I'm going to look for the corresponding data section ID, which is this one here. I'm going to replace it here. And then again, I can continue to use SQS log. You see how that moved a little bit? Um, I can continue to use the SQS block class because this text block also has that class. Actually, let me show you that. Just don't believe what I'm saying. Just believe what I'm showing you. So here, you can see that we have the class SQS block followed by HTML block and SQS block HTML. So again, these two identify the type of block that you're using. But this first one, SQS block, just tells you that it's a block in Squarespace. And again, it's one class that is shared by all blocks in Squarespace. So actually, instead of having here a padding at the top 17 pixels, what I'm going to do is add or remove the padding at the bottom. So I'm going to set that one to zero. And you can see how that like shrunk down a little bit. So now if we take a look at the live site, everything should be aligned. All right. Awesome. So there you have it. That's how you can quickly fix this issue whenever you have just one block inside a section in Squarespace.